Welcome to my daughter. Today's topic is uterine bleeding. Uterine bleeding is a very common problem to women. Um, normally, we have a blood oozing out of their private parts. This is a very common concern to so many women. When you see this, you ask yourself, am I dying or what? Um, it's a very common problem, but we need to know uh, what danger is associated with the problem. In most of the cases, when you see this be it heavy, be it lighter, it's abnormal. You're bound to losing a lot of blood, so you could develop what is called anemia. Therefore, we need to know what causes uterine bleeding so we can avoid it. Oh, if it has come, how can we go about it? In most of the cases, um, the bleeding could be after abortion, so many ladies of these ages uh, do abortion. We need to talk about it, it's no longer private. Um, it could be menorrhagia. Uh, menorrhagia, uh, this kind of bleeding occurs just after menses or at the end of your normal menses, you see uh, the bleeding continuing abnormally, like it has never been before. Uh, it could also be any form of any, anything as long as you're seeing bleeding uh, occurring to you. Well, what are the likely causes of the problem? The likely causes most of us attach it to hormonal Im imbalances. Yes, this is a very common cause, but nevertheless, it could also be due to fibroids, it could be because of cancer, this could cause it, cancer of the uterine world, uh, it, could, it, could, it could also be uh, because of uh, uh, infection. Infection. But I need to be specific which kind of infection. Most of the cases, it is what we call PID, pelvic inflammatory disease. This happens especially in women. Well, we need to understand these causes so that we can avoid them. Last time, we were talking about levonorgestrel. Levonorgestrel was now, we talked about levonorgestrel as an emergency contraceptive pill that someone could swallow just after sex or after unprotected sex um, to prevent conception. And we said that um, one of the likely effects of, of levonorgestrel or dangers is that levonorgestrel could cause you some hormonal imbalances. Well, we know that uh, bleeding, bleeding uh, or menses during our menstrual cycles, I'm talking about women, uh, in most of the cases, uh, is controlled by hormones. So in, in most of the cases, if these hormones do not balance up very well, if they, if they are not uh, at the recommended levels, uh, you could have uh, this kind of effects. Uh, I don't want to talk about uh, a lot about some of these that are not common to you, but we should know that they are also there to, uh, they, are, they, are, they are also there and they are likely uh, risks. To, uh, to, to, to causing uterine bleeding. Though, if you see uh, bleeding, you shouldn't think that I'm, I'm having cancer unless confirmed. You shouldn't just think that I'm having fibroids unless confirmed. At least we go line by line. This, this is medicine, this is pharmacy. Well, uh, in most of the cases, uh, we need to know um, if it's an infection, because most of us know infections are becoming the order of the, the, order of the day. PID, some, many people confuse it with things like candiasis, things like uh, uh, urinary tract infections, but it's actually not the case. Uh, pelvic inflammatory disease is actually a very common uh, sexually transmitted, sexually transmitted, sexually transmitted group of infections. And in most of the cases, uh, the the causative organisms, I'm sorry to mention them, they may confuse you, but to those that may need them, we have what is called Neisseria gonorrhea. This causes gonorrhea, and what we have what we call uh, Chlamydia uh, trachomatis. This causes uh, chlamydial infections. Well, these ones, 
uh, at, the level, at the level of the vagina before the before you are sent to the cervix, uh, they are not so much pathogenic. But when they when they progress and when they traverse uh, up into uh, the upper upper genital tract, uh, they actually think uh, when they reach uh, at organs like the fallopian tubes, the, fa the fallopian tubes at organs like uh, the ovaries, uh, organs that are beyond the cervix, uh, they can cause uh, this, the, 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 the disorder or the disease. So we need to know that uh, this infection could also cause us uterine bleeding. How does it cause the uterine bleeding? Uh, in most of the cases, these germs cause inflammation uh, and we have swelling inside the cavities or inside the tracts, uh, which inflammation uh, can further uh, rupture and, they, and therefore bleeding. They could also cause pain. In most of the cases, people experience pain. The pain could be during uh, during your normal days, but it could also be during sex. That is key. Well, when you see uterine bleeding, do not just think I'm having an infection. You need to know that uh, the problem can be due to very many cases. How therefore can we prevent and afterwards treat uterine bleeding? Well, number one, last time we talked about uh, safe days and by now most of you should be knowing how to uh, rely on your safe days to avoid uh, most of this, uh, to avoid the biggest part of hormonal imbalances because so many hormonal imbalances, so many cases of hormonal imbalances are caused by, uh, are, so much, are so much present in people that rely on uh, emergency contraceptives. So when you rely on your safe days, you don't have uh, that risk factor. Then. Uh, so, self days is a very clear way. Uh, then, uh, how would you avoid infection? You could avoid infection by uh, uh, avoiding uh, you avoid avoiding uh, the exposure exposure factors. Exposure factors would be one unprotected sex, unprotected sex, and then uh, it could also be. Could also be uh, proper hygiene. Proper hygiene. Uh, this one could help you. But in case, sometimes you can also do prophylaxis using antibiotics. Antibiotics. Uh, you can visit the page and visit the, visit the channel. We've also opened up a, a page on Facebook, and you can actually see how to actually use these antibiotics to actually prevent uh, PID that could cause you to bleeding. Uh, in most of the cases. Um, how about if someone had someone asks asks himself herself? How about if I had the, the bleeding already and, I, and preventing it cause uh, is of no importance? Uh, actually, or could be of no of no use to me. Well, you could therefore go into what is called treatment. Um, treatment would be uh, in most of. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Uh, recommend any drug right here on the channel but of course for any further inquiries you can always uh, visit the channel with a pharmacist to we can actually advise you on what to use and what to do sometimes people don't have uh, a lot of paper or a lot of money to visit uh, uh, these physicians in most of the, in most of the cases um, in most of the cases you could always visit the channel to, 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 to view these videos and so you, you can always know how to go about the problem uh, so that this bleeding could not cause you the anemia. So don't forget to subscribe to my doctor. Uh, there are so many upcoming videos for you. Thank you.